Hi, this is Eric J coming at you with Street News. No, we ain't professional and neither is 55-year-old Helen Ford who has been found guilty in the murder of eight-year-old Giselle. So look, according to the reports, the eight-year-old wrote in her diary that she wanted a relationship with her grandmother and she wanted her to love her. But instead, her grandmother hated her and gave her hell. Helen would tie her to the bedpole of her father's bed and use her as a punching bag. She would beat her with her fist and sometimes she would beat her with a belt. She would starve the little girl of food and water. She would also beat her if she fell asleep. She would force her to stay up days at a time. Prosecutors said that Giselle suffered a slow and painful death. Detectives said Helen had been slowly killing her for days and that her apartment was filthy. Detectives also noted that she was also forced to drink her own urine and that maggots were attached to her head and began eating through her skull. Giselle's father, Andre Ford, was a willing participant and even cheerleaded as she was tortured. Listen, for a long time I've been hearing that Jesus is coming back. And for a long time I've been noticing that Things are getting worse and worse. And honestly, I believe until we as a people start doing something, it's going to continue to get worse. Giselle wrote in her diary that she wanted to have a deep conversation with her grandmother. She wrote how she wanted her grandmother to love her and care for her. And it breaks my heart because as a child, sometimes you can't see your enemy until it's too late. Helen had one mission, and that was to destroy this little girl, and she did. You see, that's how demons work. When they show up, they on assignment. Demons don't care about your age. They don't care if you male or female. The only purpose that they have is to take you out. And what's sad is, children are not in the position to fight them off. They're not strong enough to push them off. There's no escape. Listen, Giselle's father, this man let her down in the worst way possible. He sat back and watched her get slaughtered. He even forced her to drink her own urine when she wet herself. He celebrated as she was tortured. Look at him. Look at this man. Who did the face-to-face -face interview with these people before Giselle was placed into their home? And just to think, Giselle was taken away from her mother because she was homeless. And the police found them wandering on the streets after 2 o'clock in the morning. And I agree with the police. The streets ain't no place for an 8-year-old child, but neither is a dirtier apartment with a 55-year-old killer named Helen Ford. 